Mm. We'll start off like that. And this is Angie talking. Good afternoon. I help you, Angie X. Tony, and she was entering the building. Good afternoon to you. I'm from Taste the Rainbow Catering, and I have a lunch delivery outside. Where should the food be placed, Tony X? Yes, indeed. It needs to be set up in the conference room. How about you go and start bringing in the food, and I'll show you where it goes. Sounds like a plan. I'll be right back, Stoney replied, and she headed out of the door. Damn, Angie thought, as Stoney walked out the door. Mm, she finds in the motherfucker. I got to have that. <laughs> Angie got up from behind her desk to hold the door open for Stoney as she came back. Angie made sure she stood close enough for Stoney to brush by her as she entered the door. Thank you so much, Stoney, said as she walked past Angie. Oh, this way to the conference room, Angie told Stoney. I'm sorry, I didn't get your name. It's Char Hill. Pleased to meet you, Miss Hill. I hope your food tastes as good as you look. Most definitely, says Stoney. It's even better. Uh-oh. Well, in that case, I can't wait to have a taste. Angie said with a seductive look on her face. And that's where we have to end. And if you want the book, okay, <laughs> if it sounds good to you, uh-huh. like it sounds to me, you'll uh-huh. go out and cop yes. two sides to the rainbow. <laughs> we would like yes. to thank yes, yes, Miss yes. Unique, Miss Waterfall. I love that. Yes. I just want you yes. to know I caught on to that. <laughs> Miss Unique Waterfall. <laughs> For uh, interviewing with On My Grind magazine. And Miss Unique, if you can tell everyone who you are grinding with. On Grind magazine. On My Grind magazine. Thank you very much for your time asking everyone what makes you grind. Um, What makes me grind? Writing. It keeps me up at night, so I don't have a choice but to grind. (laughs) <laughs> if I don't get it down, I won't sleep. What were you uh, experiencing, if you don't mind our asking, uh, when you were creating the book? Um, Initially, when I first um, decided to write it, it was out of anger because um, they had stopped one of my lesbian web shows, Lovers and Friends, and I was just like, ah, how can you do this to me? I'm going to write a book. And my partner was like, do you write a book? I was like, yeah, you need to get some more stories out here. So let me just, you know, jog some stuff around it. <laughs> okay. Um, the title, Two Sides of the Rainbow, is the pride for one of the characters, Nyla. She is struggling with herself. And what should she do? And in today's society, how it is so taboo to love the same sex. So she kind of is living a double life. Her friends accept her because they know who she is, but her family really doesn't. And uh, she meets a, a stud who turns her out just totally. And how it always from, happens. Yeah, from the <laughs> encounters that she has with this stud, it um, sends her into a whirlwind where her world comes crashing down. Mm. Anybody that's willing to read it. Okay. You know, for everybody. As long as you over 18, because it's really, really rocks. <laughs> okay. So we have to use caution when opening it up, uh, opening up this book. Girl, she done gave oh, us some, yes, some 50 and shades of the rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> Straight disclaimer, I always tell people, like, um, keep this out of reach of children. I know it's colorful and it's pretty, but it's not for kids. Well, I'm glad you said that because now you can tell us uh, how did you come up with the title? I know how you came up with the cover of the book, um, but for those who do not know, um, how did you come up with the title and your book cover? Okay, the um, title again is The Pride from Nyla, who was struggling, and it, it shows that it's two sides to the rainbow. You just, it's more to just coming out, mm-hmm. at least for some, and at least it was for me. Um, the cover my daughter designed. She's always on my phone and she had downloaded something, some app, and she was playing with these colors. And I was like, oh, I like that. Do the pride colors and give me something for it. And she did it and I liked it. I said, I'm going to use this for my book. And she was like, oh, will I get paid? I said, yeah, I'll pay you something. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say thank you guys for um, interviewing me. I appreciate the love. Um, it's so I'm just like, wow, I'm getting interviewed for a magazine. <laughs> um, 
that's what's up. I want to thank the creator for giving me this talent to be able to put these stories together because when I write, I become someone else. I get lost. Mm -hmm. And I go back and I read it and I shock myself sometimes.